Can you see me? I think my video's off. There we go. There you go. You're on video now. Looks like you're yeah. driving somewhere. <laughs> I am. The weather is really bad, but I planned it so that I can get to the parking lot in about five minutes and then I'll be safe. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right on. Is there lots of snow? Yes, there is. And um, they had a tremendous amount of snow and locked down the city that I live in. And uh, they suspect the schools will be shut down tomorrow after this snowstorm. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's lots of fun. Just got to dress warm. You know, up there in Alaska, you got to dress warm. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, same down here um, in Canada. It's cold, yes, but you just got to dress warm and drive safe. Be good. Anyways, they call me Gusua because I talk a lot, and I am excited to see you and look forward to uh, this afternoon. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Ja. <laughs> Greetings from California. So new day to you, Dan. Deet Lagen. So new day to you, Dan. Deet Lagen. How are you? Good to see you. Is my camera on? I can't tell. I'm running after a new puppy, <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I'm multitasking. <laughs> All I see is a black screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'll have to do for now. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll wait for a couple more people to join us um, before we start with the. Uh, um, you know, our traditional, our Haida Nation anthem. And then we will go into um, uh, Queen Philhana and myself will do our introductions. And then um, those of you who want to participate and practice your Had Kill introduction, you're more than welcome to do so, just um, remember to um, uh, undo your mic uh, so we can hear you. Um, and yeah, it'll be fun to be uh, a little bit more um, interactive. Um, after introductions, uh, we will practice um, greetings and response. And again, if anyone wants to participate and practice, you're more than welcome to. Uh, Kunshlo Hana and myself will do um, a scripted conversation. And we will also um, go over um, like how to say the day's date in Hod Kill, which I think is a lot of fun, but I'm a Haida nerd. Kushilhana, um, uh, I found the old way of saying thousand in Hod Kill. And as I stated last week, it's not in the dictionary, but thank goodness I. Um, I practice it on um, Atkil's Skatan Facebook page. And so I found it there. So um, we say, um, 
Flagwa, Flalai, um, um, meaning um, 10 hundred, which equals a thousand. So, um, so yeah, we're going to be practicing that today. And, um, and if I am brave, I will sing <laughs> the Hide a Farewell song. Um, it's kind of long and I haven't typed it up yet, um, but we will see. Okay, let's get started. Um, I believe I'm still, yeah, I'm still on the screen share. Can you all see the Heidi Nation Anthem song? On. Um, Yasha. Okay. Okay, so let me get untangled here. How many chords? Okay, everyone, please stand. We are going to sing the Haida Nation anthem. Thank you, everyone. Um, and now we will uh, practice our introductions. And I'll go first. I guess that means I have to stand back up. <laughs> Harala Isis, Atlan Anasti Kurina Lagan, um, Jenny Ida Vandals Carlson, Carl Dinanuijan, Ilskadai, Iskin Helen Jai, Inu Had Kish Dinan Chadian, George Carl Dinanuijan, um, uh, Ethel Carl Yates, the Our Region, Kat Dung Hinu Had Kish, the Our Chadjin, Ralph Tech Yates, the Hung Region, Sars Kaugash, Hinu Had Kish, the Hung Chadjin, Rob Yates, you know, the Kian, that Jews is Ken Huya Hadas. Inu had kish di kiang. The u hatagan, the yalagan, the u yaklin gargan, John, Sil, 
custom kasi udi agent um uh as clients food agent uh so uh till fogwan han klai ech us nagen uh hat kills katan how a u So I said greetings, uh, good people. I'm happy to be here. Um, Jenny Carl was my nan. Her hiding names were Ilskadai and um, Ilianjot, which means uh, baby doll and Thunder Woman, respectively. Um, George Carl was my grandfather. Um, my mother was Ethel Carl Yates. Um, her hiding name was Katan, which means um, dear you. Um, uh, Ralph Tex Yates was my dad. Um, his hiding name was uh, uh, oh gosh, um, meaning bright, shiny copper shield. That was given to him by Aunt Clara Nackbone. Um, my name is Rob Yates. My hiding names are Duck Juice and Huya Hadas, meaning small shrimp and white raven, respectively. I said, I'm Haida, I'm Raven, I'm a man of the Yakvanas clan. Um, I said, Devil from Killer Whale is my crest. I'm from Craig. I live in Juneau. And I'm a highly language scholar. And I said, thank you, everyone. Okay, Kunshilhana, uh, you're up next. Okay, and let me stand up. We always traditionally stand up to give our introductions as a sign of respect. So, Delang Hatala is up in Ish Ish E, good and night login. Gani Eden Shah, Dinanu Ejin. Burn Eden Shaw, D. Chinu Ejin, Nancy Weiser, D. O. U. Ejin, Robert Eden Shaw, D. Ha U. Ejin, Emily Eden Shaw Chafin, Hinu D. Kiang, Tlagos, Kuya Eden Shaw, Hinu D. Get D. Get Islana Kiang, D. Dalang Jaguang, D. Kwai Swansengan, Diuk is a tagen, hik the handlai ush eden, stotol to kwang handlai ish ush nagen, hot kilsh the tang, the lung unch kilt la auyagen. So my grandma is Ghani Eden Shah, my grandpa was Vern Eden Shah, my mom is Nancy Weiser, my dad is Robert Eden Shah. I have one son, his name is Tlagas, he hold to die Shahunogun, he's three years old. I have seven brothers, one sister. I live in Juneau. I'm from Heidelberg, and I'm a Haida language learner. Shahawa, thank you very much. No, uh, and um, uh, welcome, Breeze. Uh, am I saying your name correctly? Yes. Welcome, and you're welcome to um, interact with us. If you or anyone here would like to um, participate in um, a hot kill introduction, you're more than welcome to do so. Duck juice. I'm not ready today, but um Atlin is Asti good night log and if there was another opportunity, I will be prepared. Um today's just a little tricky in the car and everything. Jahawa. Oh who log and um how uh Gusawa. Um we will also be um uh, practicing our introductions on Wednesday. If that works for you, you're more than welcome to 
try your introduction. Um, does anyone else want to try their uh, kill introduction? I can do mine. Gulag and Hala. <clears throat> Uh, Sinyasla Hatala is the long elf on the Hangalgan, the U Hatagan. Lucy Katona di Nan Kies Uijan, O Hadla Hatagan. Susan Gray di Nan Kies Uijan, O Kies Hatagan. Nip Cunningham di Chin Uijan, Orcus Gweist Ulf Uijan. Jerry Cunningham di Had Uijan, Du Guans Hinu Had Kilf O Kiagan, Bakti Banning di Au Uijan, Benjamin Bliss di Git Il Flangas Uijang, Ya Ats Hinu Had Kilf O Kiang, Kelly Cunningham Bliss Hinu Yats Hatai Kilf di Kiang. Dina iskien huya kla kia hinu had kilf di kiang. Gayalas gust u di kualagan. Diu kuitas jan gagan. Hoots han iskien hoots di hasi u ijan. Tagust uf ijan. Guklagai elf uf nagan. Jahawa u. I haven't said that in a while. It's a little rusty. So I said, um, good evening. It's a little later here in California. Good people, I'm honored with your presence. I am Haida. Lucy Katona was my great great grandma. She was Haida Gwai Haida. Susan Gray was my great grandma. She was Alaskan Haida. Nip Cunningham was my grandpa. He was from Orcas Island. My dad was Jerry Cunningham, and his hiding name was Duquans, which means move about person or traveling man. My mom was Bhakti Banning. My son is Benjamin Bliss, and his hiding name is Knife. My English name is Kelly Cunningham Bliss. My hiding names are Dina and Huya Klakia, which means Dina means mine, and then Raven who cares for children. I am Raven Moiti. I am woman of the Huitas Hatai people. My clan crests are brown bear, brown bear, killer whale, and wolf. I am from the lower 48. I live in California, which uh, we translated to Gul Klagai as the golden country. Thank you very much. Welcome, um, Logan Tiban. Did you want to practice your hot kill introduction by any chance? Well, um, I might need a little help on the way. It's been a while. Um, oh, you could you could do yours in Shmiel, yeah. Oh, I can do that no problem. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think I'll practice um, what I know of my my head kill introduction. Um, Scal, who knew Di Kiang? Um, Sarah Peel, Nan U Ejin, um, Hatley Mok, uh, Al U Ejin. I'm trying not to say Ada. <laughs> and, um, I forgot how to say father, Reggie Nathan. Um, hot. Hot. Hot Uijin. And then we're, um, we're Raven Clan. Um, Ayala. Um, or I'm Raven. Ila again. Um, uh, uh, how, uh, how for um, introducing yourself and how to kill 
uh, Govind even. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let's see what else we have um, in Google Docs for us today. Um, I think we will go over guided calendar and dates. <laughs> um, my mouth is dry just looking at this. Um, okay. <laughs> So it takes a lot of height of words to say today is the 24th day of January, 2022. But here goes. I dare anyone to say, try and say that five times fast. <laughs> um, but that this is how we say today is the 24th day of January, 2022. Now I can remember practicing this when it was 2020 and it was a little easier because I just had to say log what I stung, what I stung. And now we got another walk stung in there to get 2022. So that's a lot, but um, that is how we say um, the day's date in Hod Kill. I started off with um, today, and then I said um, the 24th day, and then I said January, which in, in Hod Kill in the Haida calendar is Tan Kunai. Um, that's um, black bear hunting month. Um, they would uh, get the black bears while they were sleeping in their dens. Um, Lagwa Tlalai is um, 10 hundred or a thousand. So uh, Lagwa Tlalai stung is 2000. And then we have walk, we're, we're adding on Tlalai's done 20, and then walk's done plus two more. Um, so that is how we say um, the day's date using the traditional calendar. And um, last Wednesday, we went over numbers and counting. And now we have all the months of the year. So between um, the numbers and counting doc and this side of calendar, we would be able to say any day of any month of this year. Um, let's see. Let's say we wanted to say um, uh, today is June, June 4th, 2022. We would take the same format, excuse me, and say, um, Aya Singai Stenson. Um, Han Kungai Lagwa Klalai Stung Wak Klalai Stung Wak Stung. Um, I just said today is June 4th, 2022. So we have the um, with this format, we could say any day of any month of this year. Um, the way you say it sounds great, though. It sounds more like traditional Haida because you've got the up and the down, and it almost sounds musical. Like, you know, like oh. the elders say it, all pretty, versus us beginners who just, you know, 
butcher the language. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, I'll offer your kind words. So as we can see, Tan Kungai is Black Bear Hunting Month, um, which is also January. And um, um, Kunshil Hana, shall we alternate? Um, would you like to pronounce uh, February? It Kung Kung Lai. That is Goose Month of February. Uh, it Gas Kung Lai. Um, Noisy Goose Month, which is March. Eat Kungai, Migratory Geese Month, April. Oh, um, the Hala Kungai Food Gathering Month, May. On Kungai Berries Ripen Month, June. Um, yeah, I find I find um, this to be very true. I remember um, picking salmon berries the last week of June. Um, so in my mind, it's a good description. The berries are ripening the month of June. Okay. Um, um, Alung Kungai, um, ripe berries month are um, the berries are ripe and ready for picking. Keen Kungai, salmon month, August. Time to put up fish. Um, okay. Um, this one I'm not familiar with. There. Oh. Um, Eat us is a berry basket. Ah, it's a traditional berry basket. On. Oh, okay. I see what they did now. How? Uh, so what I need to do is break this apart. On. Um, they had it all run together as one word. Um. Whoop. Okay. Here we go. Um. Eat us. Kungai um, as uh, Kunshlohana says this is uh, that means a berry basket and so in this month they're starting to um, weave hats and baskets because as far as harvesting they harvested the cedar back in May. Um, Oh, Kushnohana? Oh, and the cedar has to dry before you weave. And uh, Della Cheney said that kitas, the berry baskets, are only used like for one season and then they're tossed and then you make another one for the next season. Ah. Because they get so saturated with berry juice. That makes sense. <laughs> Ok Kungai, Ice Month, October. Oh. It's also um, makes me think of our supernatural being uh, called Jot, Ice Woman. Okay. Um, uh, Chao Kungai. Um, there's hibernate month, but it's um, before they could hibernate. Um, if they don't find a natural cave, they have, they literally have to um, dig out their den to um, hibernate in. Ta'au Kongai, snow month, December. Um, now, like I said, there's different versions of the Haida calendar. This one was made to be equivalent to um, 
to um, an English style calendar. Um, but the true Haida calendar actually had 13 months composed of like 28 days. Um, just throwing, throwing that out there. Um, and some of the elders had a different um, word for December. If it was a super cold month, they would um, they would call it a different name instead of Ao Kungai. They would um, I don't um, have the word off the top of my head, but the English description was it's too cold to um, squat and do your business. So they um, they stood up and and um, took care of nature that way. And um, because it was just too cold, they didn't want the ice and snow um, brushing against their buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is the Haida calendar and we have a couple of questions in the chat so oh. Gusawa says do you make salmon berry jam and do you share have a recipe to share I have personally never made salmon berry jam um, because I eat them they are so just once you start it's so hard to stop eating them um I love to make a uh, jam. Um, I like the um, uh, sure gel pectin. Um, I can't remember if I prefer the powder or the liquid. I think I prefer the, the powder. Um, I'm going to have to find my recipe and um, and um, email it to you. So Guzwa, if you could send me a reminder. I can't remember the the cups of sugar. It's either four and a half or seven. There's a, that's a big difference. <laughs> um, I will. I'm just excited that you would share because for you to share a recipe like that to me is making a connection with you like family. And that's where my heart is. Jahawa duck juice. Um, I have a recipe for um, strawberry jalapeno too, if you want it. Um, we did a fair here at UAS. Um, it was last fall, welcoming students and trying to get them to sign up for um, Hot Kill Club and um, and Wuching Club and Pride Club and all these different clubs that um, were at our table. And um, and so to get people to come to our table, we did fried bread. And so I brought a jar of um, strawberry jalapeno uh, jam that, that we had made. And um, almost everyone wanted the strawberry jalapeno jam on the oh, fried bread and it was a big huge absolutely. yeah um it's not it's not spicy but it's a little bit wild i don't know it tastes good but, well, um, well i'll remind you about that because anything with jalapenos i like it i like it a lot oh you're that gonna love so this recipe it's so good oh, on first in the morning Okay. 
And the other question from Stephen was, what's the difference in the sound between the underline X versus the non-underline X? Okay. Um, let me bring up. Da, da, da. A Google Doc. And it is the alphabet with word examples and the um the Haida X which looks like a normal X but is not it's not like the English X we don't say x-ray or extinguish yeah <laughs> um so <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we put the middle of um, of your tongue near the roof of your mouth, and you're blowing air over it. And um, your upper lip is sticking out slightly over the bottom lip, and you could feel the air dropping downwards. Gosh. And there's no constriction. You're just letting the air flow out. Oh. And that is the, um, underlying X um, is the opposite. There's nothing soft about it. You constrict your throat right here and um, produce um, a rough H sound from here. Um, yeah. Um, and, um, the, I picked this, um, verb to fish with a hook or troll on purpose because, um, Donnie Florence Davidson would use it and, uh, and she would say, Ho, 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 ho. Um, so you, your throat is definitely constricted. And it hurts. Yes, it hurts. And um, you're producing- You do it right. The gruff H sound from the constricted throat. So there, um, the Haida X, with no underlying and the high to X with the underlying are completely different. And um, some say the X with no underlying um, is like uh, English H, but it's it's not because we're we're using a high to mouth to produce this sound, um, you cannot make this sound uh, using an English mouth. So how a good question. Okay. Um, is there any questions on Haida calendar or, or how to say a Haida date? I mean, a date and how to kill. How to get a date and hot kill. Sinudung Hayden. Yeah, we're going to switch to speed dating now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Okay, so I think we're going to go back to greetings and responses. Um, I have a pulled this up yet, but I mean, we already, um, we already did a little bit of greeting and response, um, but now we're, we're going to get into a little bit more, a little bit more detail and, and the different types of greetings. So, um, the first one is a formal greeting 
used in speeches and intros. That's from Lillian Edenso Petfield. She was a Heidi Elder that lived in Seattle and she was recorded by Encarta back in the 1990s. So um, that's where I got this from. Um, I got a confirmation from uh, Kuyan because um, Lily Nedenso was his great aunt. It was um, his, his nanny Gladys Nedenso Morrison's sister. And, and so when I told him about it, it goes, oh yeah, that Encarta CD from the 90s. So he he remembers it. But um, I'm trying to get more people to actually use it besides me because... Um, so would you use it at the, like the very beginning? Would it be the first word you use? Um, Okay. The very first word you use. That's exactly right. Um, I know I, in our um, speeches and intros, um, Hadala uh, is this Atlan Anashti Gurinai Lagan, and variations of those. Um, they're very traditional, um, and we will always. Um, use those, but um, uh, it's just that um, T, T Dasa comes first. Um, it's a formal greeting, and then you could go into Hadala is this Atlan Anashti Gurinai blog and the rest of your speech. Um, How I, uh... I'm always oh. looking for stuff to add to my intro to make it more authentic. So to how I'll start doing that. Oh, uh, login. I appreciate that. Um, because um, um, not there's just very few of us scientists that use this. And if we don't use it, we lose it. And I think we lost enough already with all those smallpox epidemics and assimilations and boarding school. Um, Thank you, and you're so good. Um, how, uh, um, so um, this one, this next one also isn't used a lot, but um, but it is in the dictionary, so we might as well save it, um, is my opinion. Um, this word is kind of like, like in Hawaiian, you have aloha, and it means a lot of different things. Well, uh, the same with this word, kilpla. Um, it means a lot of different things. It means hello, it means goodbye, it means to give thanks. It means a lot of different things. We're used to using it in the give thanks department, but um, it's, it is recorded as hello, goodbye, and other things. So it means kill is like to speak. And then law is good. So you're just wishing them good when you see them and when they depart. Is that it? Like good things to you? Uh, that I like. Um, I like your thinking on that. That makes sense. Um, um, this is also how um, we refer to the Simpson as. Um, uh, the people with the pretty voices. Um, so yeah, I like your thinking. It makes a lot of sense. And it ties in with what we call the Simpson. Um, the next one isn't Haida, but it, it's, um, we adopted it. 
Um, and um, it's Chinook jargon. And I, I would like to point out um, that when outside is referred to Chinook, we're referring to Chinook jargon because the Chinook language is totally separate from Chinook jargon. Um, and I can't make the circumflex, but there should be like an up down, upside down V over the X. That's called a circumflex. Um, I can't make that, but that's what belongs over the X. And um, they use, they do use us in Heidelberg, but um, since um, um, hot kill revitalization, um, us other Haidas are using it as well. And it's Tlahalia, Tlahalia, um, meaning hi or hello. Um, Singai La is one we use a lot. And in Alaskan Haida, it means good morning or good day. Um, doesn't matter what time of day it is. Um, in mass, it, they have a particular term for good morning. But ours is Singai La for good morning or good day. Um, and then um, as um, Huyad Klakia um, mentioned earlier, Sing Yas Las is good evening. And um, this one is documented as coming from Chinny Stephen Brown. And then of course we have our traditional Sanu Dum Hidam. Uh, how are you doing? De La Sanu Dunks Hidam. Oh yeah, we should um, we should um, practice um, Kuntlohana, and then we'll see if anyone else wants to practice. Um, I'll ask the question, and then you do the reply, followed by um, the question below, and then I'll reply. So. Um, Sanudan Hayden Kunshohana. He login. How are Sanudan Hayden? These and login. How are? Um, and I will practice the next one. I will ask um, the la oops. On the login. How are? Okay, and then, okay, um, now, Kunshlohana, uh, you ask me if I'm good. Sunny Dung Hayden, Duck Juice. Oh, I love it when Google Docs thinks it knows Haida. <laughs> um, the La Ashkangan, uh, Sanud, Sanud Dance Hayden. Um, the La Angan. Uh, no. Okay, um, I should throw that in there, what I said just now. <laughs> um, Oh, gum kun di la angan. I missed a word. I was doing it <laughs> out of memory. Oh. <laughs> That's like, I'm really not doing good. Uh, um, okay, so when uh, Kunsha Hana said um, gum kun di la angan, I'm not all that well. I instinctively replied with Kathna, which means four thing. This is a really traditional reply, and it's very 
the NGAA is very nasal that ah. mm -hmm. And the first part is um, kicking from the back of your throat with the airflow blocked off. Uh, nah. That means poor thing. Um, okay, now, uh, Kuntalo Hana, I will ask if you're physically feeling good and you could choose either one of the replies. Um, young Kadanai Laus Kuntalo Hana. Ang di hadangai lagen. Good lagen. Okay, now you ask me if I'm physically feeling good, and I'll reply in the negative. Dang hadangai laus. Ang di hadangai lagen. Acharya Anaskate Ishan. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to take that on your report. <laughs> so everyone will know. <laughs> but to me, it's hilarious. So. I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> um, Kachariya means uh, other things besides oh, good grief, but that's the one that always comes to mind. And um, help me with the spelling. On uh -huh. um, this good. <laughs> E E. Hey. Kind of like that. Um, or e I. I want to say it's E E now. It was probably traditionally E I. Mm. Let me look. It will be like Skill Jaw Day. Because she still pronounced spells her name. Here in explanations. Um age 55. Okay, um, okay, I did spell it right, I, or at least um, I'll spell it most ways. Um, I spelled it the way Dr. Irma Lawrence um, did, but this is the other version. And it's also the G. Means poor thing. Sorry? You're missing the second G in the second spelling. Between the oh, S and I, the I, I yeah. Oh. There we go. Uh, skiday. <laughs> and then I said <laughs> Eshan. Which is Quinka for poor thing. I'm I'm gonna throw this in here. Anyways, because um the Hawa Godum Tibbin for showing up, she has to leave. Oh uh, House Dun King Song. House Dun King Song. House Dun King Song. Okay, um so um my question does Anyone want to practice uh, reading and response? Okay, we have up next. Da, da, da. Oh, let's do, oh, it's almost the end of class. Um, we have just enough time to do our new uh, script, Kunshlohana. Um, oh, yeah, again. So we're going to start with Little Deer. She's going to speak first. 
Pahaya Jadi Tawi Singaila Ditalas Daplaas Kalikwa is Ajak Senlaus Ang di lagen how a gusu dangestan Ki enchiladas guys hagen a di es dan la la um la lagen gangan Ja ang how a di gu la song gusu aya dang esta song uh Isen gulagen hangwa Yankian udam sugen Ayat sanai la sang Sanai wat luan lagen Nang isen adang layan Um dan uh Danga, um, Dan, 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 uh, Hang on, Dan, H, T, H, T, Dangan. Ajaria, Atlan, Stifla, a wheat. The air, the guawan. Okay, now let's, we got just enough time to do it in English. If I can scroll better. Hey, my friend. Good day, my good friend. Are you good? Could be better. Are you good as well? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm eating deer meat enchiladas. You will dine with me. Heck yeah, thank you. I will enjoy it. What are you going to be doing afterwards? I will go for a walk along the beach. You can go with me, right? Of course, dear. Let's visit. Let's get started. Should I start? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, um. I enjoy talking with you. Me too. It's fun, right? You said it right. I totally agree. Today is going to be a good day. Every day is good. You're a peaceful man. You are kind. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Oh, good grief. Come back here right now. No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> How uh Hana? The how it that just you always write the finest scripts. They're so entertaining. <laughs> uh Gagan, it's fun. How uh um Kachu. Ah. Uh. Um so, um, who is all here? I can't see the screen. Can you, uh, Johan? You, me, okay. who ya tlaki ya, Breeze. Okay. Um, how are you? Thank you, everyone. Um, some flunish. Dalan Wadluan, 
Glenwadlewanch King Song. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Thank you, everyone.